So you probably know this already, but um, you may not have thought of the application of this uh, in, in terms of how you might be able to use this. But we, we've for some time now had a, a feature that allows you to embed reports in a screen. So on my homepage, for instance, if I click this link, this tab over here called reports, it basically calls a report from your reports um, tab. You specify the report and it loads the data into the screen here as pre-filtered report and just shows you the data. A lot of organizations that are using this use it to track when certain things get completed and they, they want to see like, um, you know, what is, uh, I, I've seen a group do it around pro bono requests. Somebody in the agency has a request where they'd like to get the pro bono department involved. So they mark it as pro bono request equals yes. And then they take whatever the request is. And then when the pro bono coordinator comes to the screen, they see a report that shows all, all things that are marked pro bono request equals yes, and then they can click on it, go to the case, mark has been completed, so now it's pro bono request equals no, and then it comes off the list. So it, it gives you kind of real-time reporting that you can load in here. Um, other groups will do it based on, um, you know, you, you could do it for your open cases, or you could do it for certain types of cases that have certain issues, or, you know, as Xander was pointing out, you could write, a legal issues uh, report to show you um, cases that don't have issues on them or something like that. So you can use it both in the positive, I wanna show where we have certain things and I wanna show it the negative where I'm looking for certain things that aren't in our system and we wanna use it to, um, to just make sure that we get that data uh, going forward. So does it, <clears throat> again, I'm assuming, well, probably some of you didn't know that this uh, block existed, but the block is called report parts and you can embed it on various pages in the system. Um, you can also embed the graphical aspects of the report. So if you load the cross tab or you load the pie chart or you load whatever, you can, um, you can load that into the screen as well. In terms of um, a place where you may not have, have thought to use it, um, you can use it as part of an intake as well. So let me see if I can find a, a good one that I've got. Actually, you know what? Um, I'm going to saw one down here. So if I go to this intake, <clears throat> this intake's almost done, so I, I just want to show it like a good spot to use this on. And I go to the case questions part of the intake. So we'll say right now that it's just please select. Um, so one thing, one place that that you have actually a bunch of of kind of embedded knowledge in your system already is if you're using the problem notes <clears throat> and the advice notes. So one, one idea here is if you took and, and created like a flag on certain cases, like especially for hotlines, right? This is a great example of a problem that was presented and the advice that we gave. So if I've never done um, bankruptcy work, and I'm on the hotline, and I want to see other cases where we've done bankruptcy that are being highlighted as really good cases, I could do something like this, which is I select bankruptcy. I see now where it wants me to type in my problem notes and my advice that I gave notes. That's fine. Um, I'll do that. But I need to see some examples of maybe where we've advised people on this issue before. So I click the show example of bankruptcy. So all this did was load a report. It loaded a report into the screen that shows me the problem notes and the advice notes on a given case or multiple cases. So it's nothing fancy other than a report that we wrote um, that pulls this information, but this gives me some context for um, being able to see um, you know, information on similarly situated cases. And to me, this makes a ton of sense in terms of being able to embed reports like this into a screen that may give your intake workers some, some helpful uh, information.